Okay, good morning and welcome to Table Enabled. We're doing Hilkos Tefila Simon Kofi Ted 119. We're nearing the, he- the end of Chelek Aleph for the Mishnah of Hura. Where does it go to? Kof Chof Zion? Kof Chof Zion, 127, almost there. We're starting to Chelek Bays very soon. In Ratzel the Hosif, did not Ratzel the Hosif of Brachos. Someone wants to add into the Brachos. In Shmon Estra, you want to add your personal Bakashos, Aleph. In Ratzel the Hosif, Bechol Brachos, Mam May not bracha most of you can add in as long as it's related to the actual text of the bracha. Kate said, I Allah hold someone's sick in his house. Mavaki shallah rachman brachas ravena. You can mention there's actually a text for that written in the Sidurim, Yihil Ratzon, right? Here's on Panacha in the middle of Rafaina. You could add it in. Hayah sarach parnasa. If you need parnasa, you need to earn money. Mavaki shallah brachas ashanim. And the bracha brachas ashanim, you can insert that also. A personal makasha. Hagah, the Ramah says, Shumosif yachal of bracha achach mosif. You don't. You don't do the whole stuff before you start the bracha. First, you start the bracha. In the middle of the bracha, you add your personal makasha. You shouldn't add, add in and then start the bracha. That's a general tefillah for all needs, right? It includes all your needs. It includes all of the different needs that people need or want to people need. According to Rabbi Yonah, when you add in to in the middle of that bracha. In most of Osa Bishvil Kol Yisrael, if you're saying the Rakasha for all of Yisrael, let's say you're a Gadal Ador, or you're a communal leader, or you're davening for the Sibu, for the public, Omer Osa Balash and Rab, you say it in a plural, below Balash and Yachin. Below Yosef Ella, that makes sense. You're just talking about multiple people, or the community, or the public, so you want to say in a public land, in a Balash and Rabim. Below Yosef Ella, Besofa Bracha, Below Bamsa. According to Rabbi Yona, you can't just edit in the middle of the bracha. I Meaning, you have to say the whole bracha until the end. Baruch Ata Hashem Shemay Tefila Baruch Ata Hashem Konin Adas. Right? You want to be smart, so you say the whole bracha, and before you say the word Baruch Ata Hashem, that's according to Rabbi Yona the proper time to edit in. I guess before we're talking about things which weren't such a need, but it's a real need. If someone's very sick in your house, or you need money. Desperately, you could ask even in the middle of the bracha. You could ask even in the middle of bracha. So according to Rabbi you can ask in the middle of bracha. That's where a uh, need, right? If it's just a want, so then you have to do it right before the end of the bracha. If it's a need, you can do it any part of the middle of bracha. Of course, Rabbi Yonah admits that Shemayat Tefila, which is a general request for all your needs, and after most people, Hila Ratzon, for many years, when I actually when I was coming from, not many years, I was in the mirror after I graduated Yeshiva University, I went to the mirror, um, and I had a lot of questions, you know, you get a lot of sveikos when you start learning halachas, you need a rabbi to really ask your sveikos. I used to ask the Mashkia, uh, Rav Aaron Kodesh, he passed away a year or two ago, um, he used to get very angry at me. I think even in the middle of tefillah, you know, because in the middle of tefillah, we'll learn you're allowed to leave the, your place in tefillah in the middle of your Shemona Ashray in order to ask a Shiloh what to do. This is a very interesting halacha, but it shows you that the halacha is more important than your amidah of Hashem. Most people would say, no, you're saying for Hashem, you're chas shalom, but the halacha is, if you have a question about your Shemona Ashray, you're allowed to leave. You're allowed to make a phone call. You can do whatever you want. Make a half a because you got to get the halacha right. So I think I was in the middle of Shmon Ashray and I started asking him, I said, I don't know, I had a Sveika, I used to ask my Balkashas in Shemei Tefillah, and then when you're in Shemei Tefillah, you're really in the middle of Shmon Ashray. So he, he yelled at me, a lot of things he yelled at me. I think one thing he yelled at me, I asked him um, one year after uh, Tisha B'Av, you know, I bought a, a small Kinos book. I said, can I throw the Kinos away because I want to be Metzapah Lishua. I think Mashiach's going to come next year. You're supposed to be top for Yeshua, Mashiach to come, so should I throw it away? Should I get rid of it? You know, to show that I believe in Mashiach to come. He got very angry at me. No, 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 we don't do these things. No, no, no. It's not the way, not the way. It's only not the way to do this. Anyway, he advised me to make my Bakasha and heal So it's better to do that because you'll avoid the Sveikos of Shimon Esra because basically you're done when you say Hila right? So you should say Hila You should say it twice. You say it the first time, then you say El Kainu Shama, El Kainu Shama, El Kainu Tzor. I forget what we say. What do you say? <laughs> Let me consider. Whatever. The end of Shmon Esra, you know what I mean. So, you can ask even 
public matters or even private matters, ben sarach mamash ben sarach irabim, whether for you or for other people. Beis ish misha omer shemosu bracha l'sarach yachid lo yarech. This is the opinion of the Mordechai. When you're asking personal about kashas, you shouldn't elongate your shmoneh so much like people do. Because, you know, I don't know the reason the Mordechai says this. Shemoneh shouldn't be so long. Hashem, it doesn't make sense. You're in front of a king, you know, you have a, he says, this is the text you should say in front of me. He makes one or two bakashas. You don't, and some people say they're bakashas. Please, Hashem. You know, this is not the way you talk in front of a king. So let's say you skipped one of the middle brachas, or you made a mistake in it, or you made a mistake where you'd have to go back, for example, and right now, you, uh, when you're supposed to say, ask for matar, in the brachas hashanah, you don't say matar. You don't have to go back to the beginning of the bracha. And then you go back to where you were. So if you forgot a bracha, you go back to where that bracha was started over again. If you made a mistake, go back to the beginning of that bracha. If you finish the bracha, go back to the beginning of the bracha. Right? On a tiny seaboard, the shlech seaboard is on the name. He says a separate bracha in his chazar sashas. Right? After he says anenu, then he says rafeinu. If he finished the bracha rafeinu, or even said bracha Hashem, he concludes the bracha, he doesn't go back. It's so, it's so strict, this halacha, that if he goes back, and you're not supposed to, the bracha levatala, anenu is bracha levatala. Al yomer anenu b'shemei atfila kiyachid. You should say it like a regular person davening a private shmona. Esrei he says anenu biyachid. He would say that during his chazar hashas. But you don't go back. Now it's clear from the halacha that anenu is a separate bracha for the shleir sibor, but not for a regular yachid. A private shmona Esrei you say in the middle of shemei atfila. Why is that? Why is anenu considered to be a, an extra bracha that the shleir sibor adds in on a public fast day? And a yachid would not make a separate bracha. If you want to know the answer to that, stay, stay tuned for Ian to lean on coming up next.